Officially, the mandate for Syria and the Lebanon was a League of Nations mandate founded after the First World War and the partitioning of the Ottoman Empire. During the two years that followed the end of the war in 1918 a Euro, and in accordance with the Sykes-Picot Agreement that was signed between Britain and France during the war a Euro the British held control of most Ottoman Mesopotamia and the southern part of the Ottoman Syria, while the French controlled the rest of Ottoman Syria and other portions of southeastern Turkey. In early 1920s, the British and French control of these territories became formalized by the League of Nations Mandate System, and France was assigned the League of Nations Mandate of Syria on September 29, 1923, which included the territory of present-day Lebanon and Alexandretta in addition to Syria proper. The administration of the region under the French was carried out through a number of different territories, including the Syrian Federation, the State of Syria and the Syrian Republic, as well as the smaller states of the State of Greater Lebanon, the Alawite State and Jabal Druze State. The French mandate of Syria lasted until 1943, when two independent countries emerged from the mandate period, Syria and Lebanon, in addition to Hatay, which had joined Turkey in 1939. French troops completely left Syria and Lebanon in 1946. Background With the defeat of Ottomans in Syria, British troops, under General Sir Edmund Allenby, entered Damascus in 1918 accompanied by troops of the Arab revolt led by Faisal, son of Sharif Hussein of Mecca. Faisal established the first Arab government in Damascus in October 1918, and named Ali Ridal Pasha a Rakabia military governor. The new Arab administration formed local governments in the major Syrian cities, and the pan-Arab flag was raised all over Syria. The Arabs hoped, with faith in earlier British promises, that the new Arab state would include all the Arab lands stretching from Aleppo in northern Syria to Aden in southern Yemen. However, General Allenby, and in accordance with the secret Sykes a Euro Picot agreement between Britain and France, assigned to the Arab administration only the interior regions of Syria. Palestine was reserved for the British. On October 8, French troops disembarked in Beirut and occupied the Lebanese coastal region south to Nakara, replacing British troops there. The French immediately dissolved the local Arab governments in the region. France demanded full implementation of the Sykes Euro Picot Agreement, with Syria under its control. On November 26, 1919, British forces withdrew from Damascus to avoid confrontation with the French, leaving the Arab government to face France. Faisal had travelled several times to Europe, beginning in November 1918, trying to convince France and Britain to change their positions, but without success. France's determination to intervene in Syria was shown by the naming of General Henri Gourold as High Commissioner in Syria Cilicia. At the Paris Peace Conference, Faisal found himself in an even weaker position when the European powers decided to ignore the Arab demands. In June 1919, the American King Euro Crane Commission arrived in Syria to inquire about the local public opinion regarding the future of the country. The Commission's workspace extended from Aleppo to Beersheba. They visited 36 major cities, met with more than 2,000 delegations from more than 300 villages, and received more than 3,000 petitions. Their conclusions confirmed the opposition of Syrians to the mandate in their country as well as to the Balfour Declaration and their demand of a unified Greater Syria encompassing Palestine. The conclusions of the Commission were rejected by France and ignored by Britain. In May 1919, elections were held for the Syrian National Congress, which convened in Damascus. Eighty percent of seats went to Conservatives. However, the minority included dynamic Arab nationalist figures such as Jamal Mardam Bey, Shaikri al Qawatli, Ahmad al Qadri. Ibrahim Hanano, and Riyadh as SOLH. The head was moderate nationalist Hashim al Latassi. Unrest erupted in Syria when Faisal accepted a compromise with French Prime Minister Clemenceau and Zionist leader Chaim Weizman over the issue of Jewish immigration to Palestine. Anti Hashemite manifestations broke out, and Muslim inhabitants in and around Mount Lebanon revolted with fear of being incorporated into a new, mainly Christian, state of Greater Lebanon. In March 1920, the Congress in Damascus adopted a resolution rejecting the Faisal-Clemenceau Accords. 
the Congress declared the independence of Syria in her natural borders, and proclaimed Faisal the king of all Arabs. The Congress also proclaimed political and economic union with neighboring Iraq and demanded its independence as well. On April 25, the Supreme Inter-Allied Council, which was formulating the Treaty of Zavras, granted France the mandate of Syria, and granted Britain the mandate of Palestine, and Iraq. Syrians reacted with violent demonstrations, and a new government headed by Ali Ryder al rakabi was formed on May 9, 1920. The new government decided to organize general conscription and began forming an army. These decisions provoked adverse reactions by France as well as by the Maronite Patriarchate of Mount Lebanon, which denounced the decisions as a coup d'état copyright tat. In Beirut, the Christian press expressed its hostility to the decisions of Faisal's government. Lebanese nationalists used the crisis to convene a council of Christian figures in Ba'abda that proclaimed the independence of Lebanon on March 22, 1920. On July 14, 1920, General Gorod issued an ultimatum to Faisal, giving him the choice between submission or abdication. Realizing that the power balance was not in his favor, Faisal chose to cooperate. However, the young minister of war, Yasf al azmay refused to comply. In the resulting Franco-Syrian war, Syrian troops under al azmay met French forces under General Mariano Coibert at the Battle of Mais alone. The French won the battle in less than a day. Azmay died on the battlefield along with many of the Syrian troops. Goybert entered Damascus on July 24, 1920. States created during the French mandate. When first arriving in Lebanon, the French were received as liberators by the Christian community, but as they were entering Syria, they were faced with a strong resistance. The mandate region was subdivided into six states. They were the states of Damascus, Aleppo, Alawites, Jabal Druze, the autonomous Sormjak of Alexandretta, and the state of Greater Lebanon, which became later the modern country of Lebanon. The drawing of those states was based in part on the sectarian makeup on the ground in Syria. However, nearly all the Syrian sects were hostile to the French mandate and to the division it created. This was best demonstrated by the numerous revolts that the French encountered in all of the Syrian states. Maronite Christians of Mount Lebanon, on the other hand, were a community with a dream of independence that was being realized under the French. Therefore, Greater Lebanon was the exception to the newly formed states. It took France three years from 1920 to 1923 to hold full control over Syria and to quell all the insurgencies that broke out, notably in the Alawite territories, Mount Druze and Aleppo. Equals diagram of states under the mandate equals equals state of greater lebanon equals on september 1 1920 general gorod proclaimed the establishment of the state of greater lebanon greater lebanon was created by france to be a safe haven for the maronite population of the mutazarifia of mount lebanon mount lebanon an area with a maronite majority had enjoyed variable degrees of unofficial autonomy during the ottoman era however Greater Lebanon included in addition to Mount Lebanon other mainly Muslim regions that were not part of the Maronite Mutazarifia, and hence the word greater. Those regions correspond today to North Lebanon, South Lebanon, Big Valley, and Beirut. The capital of Greater Lebanon was Beirut. The new state was granted a flag merging the French flag with the cedar of Lebanon. Most of the Muslims in Greater Lebanon rejected the new state upon its creation. Some believe that the Muslim continuous demand for reunification with Syria eventually brought about an armed conflict between Muslims and Christians in 1958 when Lebanese Muslims wanted to join the newly proclaimed United Arab Republic, while Lebanese Christians were strongly opposed. However, most members of the Lebanese Muslim communities and their political elites were already committed to the idea of being Lebanese citizens since the late 1930s, even though they also tended to nurture Arab nationalist sentiments. Moronites were the majority in Lebanon and managed to preserve its independence. An independence that created a unique precedent in the Arab world as Lebanon was the first Arab country in which Christians were not a minority. The state of Greater Lebanon existed until May 23, 1926, after which it became the Lebanese Republic. Equals state of Alawites equals, 
the state of Alawites was located on the Syrian coast and incorporated a majority of Alawites, a branch of Shia Islam. The port city of Latakia was the capital of this state. Initially it was an autonomous territory under French rule known as the Alawite Territories. It became part of the Syrian Federation in 1922, but left the Federation again in 1924 and became the state of Alawites. On September 22, 1930, it was renamed the Independent Government of Latakia. The population at this time was 278,000. The government of Latakia finally joined the Syrian Republic on December 5, 1936. This state witnessed several rebellions against the French. Some of the most prominent ones were under Saleh al Ali, an Alawite anti French figure. Equals State of Jabal Druze equals the state of Jabal Druze was a French mandate from 1921 to 1936 created for the Druze population of southern Syria. It had a population of some 50,000 and had its capital in Asuada. Equals State of Aleppo equals. The state of Aleppo included a majority of Sunni Muslims. It covered northern Syria in addition to the entire fertile basin of river Euphrates of eastern Syria. These regions represented much of the agricultural and mineral wealth of Syria. The autonomous Sornjak of Alexandretta was added to the state of Aleppo in 1923. The capital was the northern city of Aleppo, which had large Christian and Jewish communities in addition to the Sunni Muslims. The state also incorporated minorities of Shiites and Alawites. Ethnic Kurds and Assyrians inhabited the eastern regions alongside the Arabs. The primarily Sunni population of the state of Aleppo was strongly opposed to the division of Syria. This resulted in its quick end in 1925, when France united the states of Aleppo and Damascus into the state of Syria. Equals state of Damascus equals, the state of Damascus was a French mandate from 1920 to 1925. The capital was Damascus. Equals Sornjak of Alexandretta equals. The Sornjak of Alexandretta became an autonomous province of Syria under Article 7 of the French-Turkish Treaty of October 20, 1921, a special administrative regime shall be established for the district of Alexandretta. The Turkish inhabitants of this district shall enjoy facility for their cultural development. The Turkish language shall have official recognition. In 1923, Alexandretta was attached to the state of Aleppo, and in 1925 it was directly attached to the French Mandate of Syria, still with special administrative status. The Sornjak was given autonomy in November 1937 in an arrangement brokered by the League. Under its new statute, the Sornjak became distinct but not separated from the French Mandate of Syria on the diplomatic level, linked to both France and Turkey for defense matters. In 1938, the Turkish military went into the Syrian province and expelled most of its Arab and Armenian inhabitants. Before this, Alawi Arabs and Armenians were the majority of Alexandretta's population. The allocation of seats in the Sornjak Assembly was based on the 1938 census held by the French authorities under international supervision. The Assembly was appointed in the summer of 1938 and the French-Turkish treaty settling the status of the Sornjak was signed on July 4, 1938. On September 2, 1938, the Assembly proclaimed the Sornjak of Alexandretta as the Hatay state, taking as an excuse that rioting had broken out between Turks and Arabs. The Republic lasted for one year under joint French and Turkish military supervision. The name Hatay itself was proposed by a Tatar one quarter AK and the government was under Turkish control. In 1939, following a popular referendum, the Hatay state became a Turkish province. Demands for secession not granted by the French mandate authorities. Equals Al Jazeera province equals. In 1936 a Euro 1937, there was some autonomous agitation among Assyrians and Kurds, supported by some Bedouins, in the province of Al Jazeera. Its partisans wanted the French troops to stay in the province in the hypothesis of Assyrian independence, as they feared the nationalist Damascus government would replace minority officials by Muslim Arabs from the capital. The French authorities refused to consider any new status of autonomy inside Syria. Equals Golan region equals, in Cunyatra and the Golan region, there was a sizable Circassian community. 
several Circassian leaders wanted in 1938, for the same reasons as their Assyrian, Kurdish and Bedouin counterparts in Al Jazeera province in 1936 Euro 1937, a special autonomy status for their region, as they feared the perspective of living in an independent Syrian republic under a nationalist Arab government hostile towards the minorities. They also wanted the Golan region to become a national homeland for Circassian refugees from the Caucasus. A Circassian battalion served in the French Army of the Levant and had helped it against the Arab nationalist uprisings. Like in Al Jazeera province, the French authorities refused to grant any autonomy status to the Golan Circassians. See also, History of Syria, Ottoman Syria, Roman Syria, French colonial flags, French colonial empire, list of French possessions and colonies, French Lebanese. Notes. References. David Kenneth Fieldhouse. Western Imperialism in the Middle East 1914 Euro 1958. Sami M. Maubade. Steel and Silk, Men and Women Who Shaped Syria 1900 a Euro 2000. Derek Hopwood. Syria 1945 a Euro 1986, Politics and Society. Timeline of the French Mandate Period, Mandat Syria Liban. La Syrie la Mandat Frena Section A's. Les relations franco libanaises dans la carte des relations internationales, mandat for an a section A's or proche orient at the Wayback Machine, no yo yo. Time January 30, 1933. Retrieved August 19, 2009.